Spicing up casual conversations, the art of leading questions. Hello language enthusiasts! Welcome back to another exciting video in our series about conversational English. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic. Leading questions. But, not just any leading questions. We're going to focus on using them in casual conversations. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what leading questions are, how they can add depth to your casual talks, and you'll even get to practice with some real-life examples. Leading questions are a fascinating tool in English conversation. They're questions that subtly guide the respondent towards a particular answer, often because they contain information or assumptions that influence the response. For instance, if I ask, don't you just love this sunny weather? I'm not merely asking about your feelings on the weather. I'm hinting that I enjoy it and perhaps suggesting that you should too. This can create a more dynamic, engaging, and persuasive conversation. You might be wondering, why use leading questions in casual conversations? Well, these types of questions serve several important functions. Firstly, they help set the tone or mood. For example, isn't it a great day for a walk? Suggests a positive mood and may inspire enthusiasm. Secondly, leading questions can help steer the conversation in a particular direction. If you want to talk about movies, asking, did you see the new Marvel movie? It's been getting great reviews, hasn't it? Guides the conversation towards that topic. Lastly, leading questions can encourage agreement or solidarity. When you ask, don't you think it's important to take care of our environment? You're nudging the other person towards agreeing with your point of view. Let's dive into some examples of leading questions used in casual situations. 1. Meeting a friend at a cafe. Isn't this place much cozier than that crowded one downtown? 2. Discussing a TV show. Don't you just adore the character development in this season? 3. Talking about hobbies. Isn't it amazing how baking your own bread can be so satisfying? 4. Discussing plans. Isn't a road trip the best way to spend the summer? Now, it's time for you to practice. Try to come up with your own leading questions for these casual situations. 1. Discussing a recent football match. 2. Talking about a new band you've discovered. 3. Sharing your favorite book. 4. Discussing a holiday destination. Remember, the goal is to subtly guide the conversation and create an engaging interaction. And there we have it. I hope this video gives you a new perspective on how you can energize your casual conversations with leading questions. Remember, these aren't just queries. They are tools for building stronger connections and making conversations more dynamic. So, go out there and practice. I'm confident that your English casual conversations are about to get a whole lot more engaging. Thank you for watching and keep practicing. Until next time, happy learning.